business has to go on, and most of the funding is going towards you know, regular business projects, you know, what we call them tactical projects. So this is where we need to go for funding. This is where the money is at. This is, we need to bring value um, to the business initiatives. So we need to understand what is the pipeline for a quarter, for a year, what are the application, you know, what the current applications, the current projects that are in the pipeline, uh, what are the enhancements, what are the new ones being built, understand the opportunities, perhaps by doing an application inventory, and understand how the strategic SO opportunities will be aligned with these tactical projects, with your regular projects. Uh, so that's, a, that's an important one, fairly easy to do, but again, you know, we have to look towards, you know, your business projects for funding and for opportunities. Um, next one, turn your enterprise architecture group into hands-on SOA center of excellence. So here we have two things, right? So SOA center of excellence. There needs to be a champion of SOA within your organization or your department. You know, somebody who drives the vision. Uh, very often it's the enterprise architecture group or your application architecture group, some kind of a centralized architecture body that's championing in this uh, approach. But you're, most of the time you see more of white tower type of, uh, you know, thought pattern where you know, they're really engaged with selecting software products or just providing overall direction, but really not engage in day-to-day -day implementation of this uh, SOA architecture. Uh, so, again, hands-on is key, and, you know, we can take the opportunity of these guys kind of already being thought leaders in SOA space and try to turn them into a SOA center of excellence. Now, what do we do with these folks? Now, I think the next point is key. Attach strategic architectural resources from the SOA Center of Excellence to each of these tactical projects, to each one of these opportunities. Uh, so now we're taking, you know, we're taking these architects out of the White Tower and deploying them onto this, you know, on, on these tactical projects, actually making it res their responsibility to deliver a project and at the same time deliver enterprise-level value from the you know, point of arrival perspective. So now we get what, what is called federated thinking. So we have these archi architects deployed on the ground, uh, you know, working on these different projects. It's not a centralized bottleneck anymore, organizationally, where every project has to run, you know, their SOA or their project or their architecture by this group and get maybe a response, you know, right away or maybe not, get a yes or no answer. You have these people who are responsible for moving SOA direction forward, actually working on projects day to day and bringing value on a daily basis. So again, the SOA acceptance within the organization becomes much greater because these, you're going to see these folks from Center of Excellence, from SOA Center of Excellence, bringing value on you know, your regular projects. Uh, again, these, we can't have really purists in, in this specific center, um, uh, SOA Center of Excellence. These people have to be wi uh, willing to make trade-offs and compromises. They have to be able to see a strategic value in a project and understand, hey, I can get a, really an enterprise-level service or event uh, you know, out of this project. But at the same time, they have to be willing to make compromises and say, look, we can't win them all. I have to deliver this project. Uh, so they will have to give up some. But again, incrementally, uh, through position your organization like that and really deliver an incremental so value for the enterprise uh, project by project, you will get uh, a lot further toward, towards point of arrival than if you did with a you know, big bang type of implementation. Uh, last one, focus on atomic services and events versus, let's say, business process management. So BPM is a you know, very sexy area. A lot of organizations put in BPM engines and, you know, this is really the ultimate uh, goal of SOA. But at the same time, I see that a lot of organizations don't have these core basic services or events in place. So they really have nothing to string together. They, don't ha they can't put a business process around services because they lack those basic services that provide value to the business. For instance, account service that provides account information or customer service. And at the same time, they also lack this basic event, account change event, customer change event. Uh, so your focus from the implementation perspective as these architects are working with your day-to-day -day tactical project should be uh, um, getting the atomic services in place. Next. Okay. So we have these SOA architects. Um, obviously, there will be... SOA is, uh, is about integration, and there's a lot of skills that need to be brought to the table. 
We heard about service.